Well, it is Eclipse Day, and uh, the reason I can aim the camera at it right now is because it's cloudy. No, no. no. So, I'm not aiming my eyes at it, but I'm aiming the, the camera at it. I got my eyes blocked from looking directly at this shit. <laughs> so, but we got a partial eclipse, and this is what the rest of the... The place looks like right now. Um, this is crazy. I feel like this is like, because it is. Yeah, <laughs> the uh, the solar light doesn't know whether to come on or not. It just it's just started blinking. It's like, is it nighttime? Because it it definitely. <laughs> there it goes again. Uh, the camera is making everything look much brighter than it is. I feel. Um, it is really dark right now. Like, this is crazy how dark it is right now. Uh, out here. This is just fucking unreal. This is pretty wow. And, uh, yeah, we don't even have the full thing yet. We only got a partial, so. Covered by clouds, so I'm gonna get a view of it there. But I can't look right at it. New Eclipse glasses, so. <laughs> So that's what that looks like right now, behind some clouds, and uh, I'll check back in in a bit here. Well, uh, sad news to report, they uh, <sighs> had another unexpected death here on the farm. Um, I went out to feed the boys today, and uh, my butt goat, Mr. Eclipse, was just dead in the doorway on the ground. And his buddy Cider has been yelling for him all day. He is so upset and lonely right now. And I'm really upset because there were no signs of anything wrong. Uh, no foam coming out of his mouth. His eyes were open. There was no bloating, no injuries. He's just right in the doorway, but on the ground. Like, half in, half out of their goat house. Like, he went to walk out the door and just dropped dead. So I had to get him on a sled and pull him across the farm over to here and bury him this morning, and, uh... That's how today's been going. Uh, so, the day after the eclipse, I lose my goat named Eclipse. And, uh... He's survived by four offspring, uh, one boy and three girls, so I'm hoping to keep the little boy alive, <laughs> and I gotta get out of here. I gotta move. This place is, is the worst luck I've ever had in my life here, and, uh, there isn't enough room, and, uh, I gotta go. I gotta move. Because I've had way too many losses here for completely preventable reasons, and I just have no idea what happened. Just like with Yeti, no no clue. But I mean, there was no sign of anything wrong with him. And uh, I'm sick of burying goats. This really sucks. Uh, my God. Two goats this week. So he's over next to his son uh, by the... Uh, Pear and plum trees over here next to the girl's house, and uh, I'm just pretty miserable right now because I am I am so sick of losing goats, losing chickens, losing pigs, losing ducks, <laughs> losing. Well, I didn't lose any pigs this year, but or last year, but this has just been horrible. Uh, something's not right here. <laughs> No idea what killed him, just dead right in the doorway, and his buddy is very unhappy, and I can't give him a, a buddy until this little buckling in here is, just, you know, at least three months old and old enough to be weaned and all that. So, I don't want to hear Cider screaming for his buddy for the next three months, so this is, this is hellish over here right now.